Hello friends, in this video we'll discuss about distributive lattice and we'll see examples on it. Welcome back friends, now we'll discuss about distributive lattice. A lattice is said to be distributive if it satisfies distributive properties. If lattice uh, satisfying distributive property then the lattice is said to be distributive. Now a problem is given to us and we need to check whether this lattice is distributive or not. If you observe this property, you can consider any one property just for, uh, just for explaining I am considering uh, only one property. In the exam you need to show with the both the cases. Here if you observe for satisfying this property there should be three elements. Now which elements you going to consider? So you can consider any three elements. Let me take A, B and D and I am showing this here with the help of a property so I am taking a b d so a b and d I am placing in this format now let us check whether this property is getting satisfied or not this is what your glb b and d so b and d glb is obviously d so it will be a or d equal to a joined b that is a l u b b so a l u b b is e this is GLB A or D. So A or D means A. A or D. A or D is again A. E and A. So E and A is A. Now see here, this lattice is satisfying the distributive property. Now, again, uh, the similar way you can check for this particular property. So since it is satisfying distributive property, you will conclude the lattice is not distributive. Uh, the lattice is distributive. Is this clear but problem is this lattice is actually not distributive why not let us check with ABC pair let us start let us check with ABC pair let me check so what will happen this will be A or B and A or C this is not and or or I am just saying for the sake of simplification this is joint and meet so this is A or B and C so if you take B and C so this is D A or B so A or B is E and A or C. So A or C is again E. A or D. A or D is obviously A. E and E is obviously E. See here. Now the property is not getting satisfied. So what should be your conclusion? Whether it is a distributive or not distributive. So let me conclude. If there are n number of pairs which are satisfying the property, if there are n number of pairs which are satisfying the property only when only one pair which is not satisfying the property then the lattice is not distributive are you clear with this what what is the definition n number of pairs not satis, uh, satisfying only one pair not satisfying still the lattice is not distributive now you might you might be thinking sir how we will get to know whether it is distributive or not because there are number of pairs if you consider this example there are number of pairs of three you need to consider a lot of combination because you need, to, you need to check all the combinations because if you take one combination and if it is satisfying and you are concluding that it's distributive it is not enough because there may be another pair which is not satisfying so this is a lengthy procedure is there any trick yes i have trick for you how to check whether it is uh, distributive or not and this is the point if you remember this point your life will be very simple and the point is if every element has maximum one complement then lattice is said to be distributive why it is maximum one maximum one means one or zero maximum one means one or zero now if you observe this particular diagram here a has two complements see here here a has two complements what are the complements of a b and c because a and B if you take least upper bound that is E and greatest lower bound D and same is the case with C. Therefore A has two complements so which is against this particular note. What the note says it should have maximum one complement or zero complement. So since it has two complements that means lattice is not a distributive. So the story is over. We got 
that the lattice is not distributive now we need to check which pair because of which pair it is not distributive therefore in the exam i am not going to show this particular part i am going to show this because i got to know that a has two complements therefore because of these pairs it is not a distributive lattice therefore in the exam i am going to take this pair a b and c and i'll show that it is not satisfying the property therefore it is not a distributive lattice is this clear yes please tell me what about this lattice for checking that let us find it let us check uh, complement of uh, any element if if is there any element which has more than one complement what are the b complement c c yes b and c least upper bound is e and greatest lower bound is d that means b complement is c let's find it out c complement what is c complement b first of all as well as a because if you check if you see uh, take c and a least upper bound it is e and the greatest lower bound is d that means c has two complement therefore it's not distributive lattice so we got to know it's not a distributive lattice but we need to show that it is not satisfying the property so which pair are you going to consider for showing it c b and a so let me take a b c pair so this is a b and c so that is a or b and a or c it's not or i'm just uh, saying just for the sake of uh, simplification nothing else a or b and c what is b and c b and c if you take is d a or b a or b is a uh, b and a or c a or c is e a or d is a b and e b and e is b see here this property is not satisfied therefore this lattice is not distributive by from our trick by looking at the diagram we got to know that it's distributive or not distributive we just need to check the pairs now let us check the last uh, matrix the last his diagram to check whether it's a distributive lattice or not what are the complements let us find out c complement is f and f complement is c what about d d complement is b now you can check and b complement is d see here what is d and e can we take this pair d complement is e no why because least upper bound is f but the greatest lower bound is not c it is a so a is out of the picture now if you check here a bar has no complement as well as e bar has no complement a don't have complement here so is it a distributive lattice or not it's a distributive lattice why because what the property says every element must have maximum one complement see here maximum one complement what does that mean they don't have complement that is okay if complement is there it should be maximum one there cannot have uh, it cannot have multiple complements therefore it's a distributive lattice now you can show with the help of any example let's say a or b and c so that is a or b and a or c now let me find it out this just a formality because we already got to know that it's a distributive we just need to sh uh, show with the pair uh, with the, uh, any three elements b and c so b and c it is c a or b a or b is e a or c is a now a or c is again a e or a is a e and a is a so see here let the lattice satisfying the distributive property therefore it is called a distributive property hope this topic is clear to you now please tell me what about d20 whether it is a distributive lattice or not please tell me d20 is it a distributive lattice or not yes it's a distributive lattice why because if you check every element has maximum one complement there are two elements which are not having complement that is 2 and 10 if you remember that diagram that we have discussed in complemented lattice part 2 and 10 don't uh, 2 and 10 don't have com complement so that doesn't matter to us if there is a complement there should be maximum one complement so if according to that criteria d20 is a uh, distributive lattice that's it we're done with it hope you understood thank you